Yeah, that's well, that is kind of that is kind of BS. And I'm just going to get I'm going to segue us out because this is actually a perfect Yeah, please do cuz I want to talk about soccer. This is a perfect uh instance that's also happening in soccer cards that I I think you might know about, but I don't know that many of our listeners or audience will know about. So I'm I'm in Spain and there's this brand called Mega Cracks and Mega Cracks is is a is a well-known brand only because basically Ronaldo and Messi have have early Mega Cracks and rookie and considered their rookies in in most especially with Messi I'm not sure everybody considers Ronaldo's rookie his Mega Crack but they're early they're 0204 so they're they've been out for a while so Mega Cracks I learned over the last few years living in Spain does this thing where they'll only release certain rookie cards for a short period of time in a magazine called Hugon Magazine. So, for example, <laughs> Eunice Musa's 2020 uh, Mega Cracks rookie that would have been in the same 2020 sealed box as Pedri's rookie was not on the checklist. It was only available in a Hugon Magazine sealed like a Sports Illustrated for kids, but not perforated, like literally just a raw, unprotected card dropped into the same sealed package that the magazine's in. And That's so, so weird, dude. It's so weird. And so like you can buy them at like newsstands, um, but you have to like walk up to the newsstand and like try to peek in to see. And so, so yesterday I went to go see FC Barcelona and uh, Valencia play here in Valencia. And it was fun to see Pedri and Gavi play. And I was super impressed with both of them, particularly Gavi, who's a rookie this year. And so I've been walking around to the local um, random stores that are here, and they'll sell Mega Cracks packs for a euro a piece. And you get, for one euro, you get five cards. Well, I've been walking around buying them um, kind of with the same budget that you would go into Walmart and buy like a retail thing of tops series one um and so maybe like five euro here ten euro there just walk out with a few packs so my kids and i'll rip them and we're looking for the gavi rookie well it just dawned on me after seeing gavi play yesterday that i should look at the checklist sure enough i look at the checklist and there's no gavi rookie on the checklist yet there's gavi rookies listed on ebay for like usually around 19 dollars for the mega cracks Gabby only has like three cards right now. He's got like a Tops Now card with a couple other guys on it. And he's got a Barcelona team set, which I can't imagine is going to have much resale value. And he's got the Mega Cracks. So the Mega Cracks is probably the top resale value card now for Gabby. Well, Gabby's not on the checklist. That leads me to believe that I've missed my opportunity to get Gabby and that he was in a flipping Hugon magazine that I was not able to get. And now I can only get him on the secondhand market. So caution to soccer card investors. I don't even know what to do with this. I think maybe it's like a Well, first off, that system is a horrible system. You know, like, we're just going to put this in a magazine. Like, what the? Anyway. No, it's horrible because if you were to go, if you were to go by like Beckett or, or some, you know, like there's documented rules behind what's a rookie card and what's not. And my understanding is that s- some reputable company whether it's Beckett or somebody else has said you have to be able to open this in a pack for it to be a rookie card and so to like whatever it is what it is like I mean there's nothing we can do about it I think but 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 we can know we can have the knowledge like if you're gonna try to chase a rookie in La Liga and try to get mega cracks which do sell on eBay um sealed uh, just look at the checklist because they, the guy that you're chasing, like Musa's not in the 2020 product. Um, and Gabby apparently is not in the 2021 product. And so now I'm thinking, all right, like, do I wait until whatever Panini releases comes out or whatever tops releases comes out next? And now I got to get some americanized version of the of the gavi rookie which which is fine like that's what is probably going to sell better anyway but but i'm telling you this dude's legit like watching yeah Yeah, i've watched him he's great he's very good he's very aggressive completely different style than pedri um pedri is just like silky smooth 
Um, and, and Gavi is like this uh, Muggsy Bogues type, like um, he's kind of small and thick and he like, he gets in, he gets in the mix and um, I don't know. It's a, uh, he's like, you know, he's like a Maurice Jones drew. basically. <laughs> <laughs> he's this small little guy he's only like 16 years old he takes a beating soccer and- investors that are tuning into our show are like i don't they're like flipping through log <laughs> who who is that guy he must be he must be playing with mls <laughs> yeah i know anyway we got to wrap this up dude but uh quick quick comment on that before before i take us to the outro yeah i think um if for for gavi specifically i'm looking for that um for the tops chrome product or the or the Merlin product for next year is the probably the one who's going to be his the, the Americanized or the American side rookie card that's going to be valuable um, with the RC logo. Um, that's probably going to be the one that I'm looking for. Um, I do like um, Gavi as well. Um, I, I you know I think he's a mega cracks. For instance, aren't over here. They're kind of over there. So that's kind of like your 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 expertise there. Um, but you know, I'm not going to pay $45 for a paper Gavi. I'm just not, you know, and don't so, do it. Don't um, do it. I'm going to wait in, in until the, the tops Chrome product comes out here or, or even Merlin or, you know, some of those products, we're going to have Gavi cards over here. So um, it's going to happen. So w- with Pedri and all that kind of stuff, he's over here as well. I wanted to quickly say one thing. Um, this week I have bought several. MLS boxes. Okay. And people are like, what the heck are you doing? I, the re, here's why. There are some guys in here that I think will make the jump to Europe, which every single time you can capitalize on that, on their rookie card MLS. So there are players that are, and the MLS is about to start back up. Is the market huge in, in America for MLS cards? No, it's not. And I'm well aware of that, you know. But at the same time, can you make a turn on it? Absolutely. A guy like Paxton Pomicall, totally, you know, for FC Dallas, totally somebody who can end up in Europe. A guy like um, the Aronson, a younger Aronson, Paxton Aronson. I just bought a uh, SGC 9.5 Tops Chrome out of 299 for him last night. It's a beautiful card. I think Paxton is going to end up on that Red Bull train very, very quickly just like his brother. And that card is going to be worth way more than what I just paid for. And so there are guys in this product. I, I mean, even like the peppy cards in this, in this product. And I know that you hate the United States men's national team hype, you know, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> the fact of the matter is from an investor standpoint, those are the ones that are selling. Yeah. So, um, and so I think it, there are some MLS plays you can make with MLS tops Chrome. Um, and so I have bought quite a few boxes of that recently because it's dirt cheap and they're, it's almost like, you know, if you hit one of those, if you hit a Pepe, boom, you just paid for your box, you know, kind of yeah. like the Wander Franco. So what, what year, what year? Uh, I, I've been buying this year, the 2020, 2021 okay. or the 2021 that is released last year. I, they have the new product hasn't released yet. Okay, cool. Well, this is a good, good outro here. You can't change the market, people. Probably one of the biggest lessons I've learned in my first 18 months as a sports card investor is like, you, as much as you think you might have a hypothesis for why something shouldn't be the way that it is, it actually doesn't matter. You got to get out of your own head and you got to be like, okay. You actually don't matter. Problem. Yeah, you actually don't matter. Like, that's your problem. Like, I've told myself with this soccer conversation that you and I have had a couple of times, like, that's your problem. You can't change the fact that just because you can walk across the street and get a pack of Mega Crafts, you can't make it worth the money that, people, that some people are paying for it. It doesn't mean that there's actual market size for you to go out and buy and, and try to do those things. And so... Um, so you can't change the market. So you have to learn from it. You have to do your research and then make informed decisions. Hopefully we're helping you out. Kendall McKee from Wildcard Box Breaks on Facebook and JustBaseball.com. My awesome co-host. Appreciate you being on. I'm Paul Hickey with NoOffSeason.com. Remember, go to NoOffSeason.com. Check out the Sports Card Investment Report. I think you'll like it. 
And go to marketmoversapp.com and use the promo code NOOFFSEASON, all lowercase, to save 20% on that great product. Everybody, thanks for watching and listening. Have a great day.